senses to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling scene. There you then go. shall the warlike hair. You pick it up from there. Like himself, <laughs> assume the part of Mars. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or maybe cram within this wooden hole the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt? Oh, oh, wait a minute, I just got a clue. <laughs> Since a crooked figure may attest a little place a million, and let us cipher us to this greater compte on your imaginary forces work. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Wonderful. Wow. Brilliant. That's Can just bonus. Like, Can I get some voice modulation or something? I have to compete with these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling there's no competing, sadly. Well, thank you guys for, for like I say, we're here at South by we're here at South by Southwest, <laughs> and we're talking to the team uh, or some of the team behind this film. Uh, all well, square. all square. I know, I know. Do you don't have to correct me? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> thank you, uh, including. Filmmaker, director, John Hyams, including actor Isaiah Whitlock Jr., yes. and including the great Harris Eulin, who I've just, you know, I've wanted to talk to you so long, Mr. Eulin, uh, not to, 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 the, to the exclusion of these other two gentlemen, but uh, I've really, really been a fan of yours for, for so long. And once when I was, had watched you in yet another great film, and I had... I looked you up online and I found a phone. I found your, <laughs> I found your phone number. I'm apologizing now, <laughs> and I, 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 it was listed at the time anyway. And I called your house, and your wife. I think your wife answered. I hope it's your wife, and she <laughs> answered, and she uh, said, uh, "Oh, who is this?" And I'm like, uh, "My name is Adam, and I'm sort of do this interview thing, and I, I really just would love to meet Mr. Eulen, bring him on. And I think it would be such a thrill." She says, "Hold on," and then, "Hello." <laughs> we're having dinner <laughs> so, I'm saying I know I, I don't blame you for I, this is totally inappropriate of me and he says email me <laughs> so I think I just chickened out uh -huh. I chickened out so but I was able to I was going to get on uh, the, 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 the lead actor of All Square Michael Kelly, Michael Kelly. <laughs> I bring on Michael Kelly and and then they offered me you, you, you. so I just I said, uh, you know, I'd love to get Michael Kelly on, but I, I'm going to take uh, Harris Eulin, so that's, that's why you're here. My goodness. That's the long. <laughs> it might have been your second mistake. <laughs> that, that, be, that remains to be seen. Anyway, it's great to, to meet you all and to talk to you. Thank you for coming here. We're at South by Southwest. Is, is this the world premiere, John? Bo? This is the world premiere of All Square. Congratulations. Thank you. Is this your first feature that you directed? <clears throat> it's not. No, I've, I've done a number of them. This is actually the second time I've been to South by Southwest with a feature and uh, be my fourth time I've debuted a movie here in Austin. I did two at, uh, in Fantastic Fest uh, over the years as well. Oh, so you've done a couple of genre films, can I guess, yes. then? Yes, genre films, but I've documentaries. and oh. genre, Yeah, primarily genre films is what I've been known for, so... Uh, <laughs> This was a, an opportunity to do something that was that was different than that, and, and also, but it, I didn't do it just because of that. I just fell in love with the script and uh, decided I want to make it. Well, talk about talk about the casting because you have here two, I'd say, as good two actors as you can get. In addition to Michael, you have a, a just an amazing, ca a really exceptional cast. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is. I mean, one of the great benefits of this film, and the reason I want to do it, is because. There was uh, a lot of beautiful characters on the page and, uh, and an opportunity to cast some tremendous talent. So um, Michael Kelly, who's the star of the movie, there's a number of people who are in this movie that we've all known each other for a long time and uh, been kind of rooting each other on with our respective careers, but had not had the opportunity to collaborate. So the first you know and foremost reason for doing this was because i wanted to it was an opportunity for michael and myself and the writer tim brady to do something together um that extended to other very close friends of ours tom everett scott and josh lucas um, we've all known each other a long time and then included in that group are um, again other close friends of ours craig walker andrew sicking jay larson neil huff um but then we also had an opportunity to work with some amazing, amazing talent because of Michael, because of this script. 
uh, we were able to assemble some incredible people and uh, Harris, Isaiah, and Pam Adlon. I mean, the three of them were actors I've all admired for for years, and uh, so it was an incredible thrill to work with them. And amazingly enough, Harris and I actually had worked together once before. Um, it was in 1989, and my dad was directing him in a movie, Narrow Margin, and I was a, I was a grip. So uh, that was our last collaboration, I thought. We tried to do again. And, and did, did you mention the young actor who plays, oh, yeah. uh, I guess you could say, one of the two leads of the, in the, yeah, in the Jesse, film? Yeah, Jesse Ray Sheps, who's the, uh, the, the young boy in the movie, who's an amazing, you know, just very talented, smart young kid and a great kid, and he did an amazing job. I agree with you. The film... I should mention, deals with a Little League, I guess you could say, in that Michael Kelly's character, remind me of his name too. Uh, Michael Kelly's character is named uh, John Zibikowski. He's a, Zibbed. Zibs for short. Right. And uh, he's a bookie in a small town that nobody pays, and uh, he decides to hatch a plan to start taking bets on the local Little League games um, in, in hopes that he, A, has found a uh, void in the market that people will... Uh, People will think, you know, bet on their kids' teams because they uh, believe their kids are better than they are, and he might find a way to make some money in the process. So it is a Little League movie. It's a baseball movie, and uh, it's a gambling movie all in one. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, they've brought in some other shadier types <laughs> at the end, of, besides just the parents, right? Although they were some of them. It brought out some of the worst instincts of some parents when you put money on the line. Do you guys uh, have any, I don't know, gambling experience from your past? Did you have to, what kind of, ex, what kind of uh, research did you have to do for your, this uh, film? You, I guess your character isn't gambling in this movie, though. He doesn't, he doesn't really, no, yeah. he, he, he doesn't gamble. Uh, Lean in just a drop. That being more. said, you yeah. know, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I put a couple of dollars on a crap table every now and then. I've been, I've been known to, mm -hmm. uh, to do that, you mm -hmm. know. Um, but uh, uh, you, you still have to sort of know the games because if you know the games, then you know where the film is, is heading or, or what it's trying to do. And uh, uh, I'm not a big gambler or anything like that. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but you do have to like f familiarize your, yourself with... Uh, the whole betting process. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what normally uh, do you do a lot of uh, research for roles, or I suppose it must depend on yeah. the project. Correct. I mean, it uh, uh, it depend on what's happening in the, in, the, in the script. You know, uh, I can't say that you know, you know, I really do a, a lot of a lot of research because a lot of stuff I just sort of know. You know, I can usually tell like. Right when I read something, you know, it's on the page. Yeah, what's what direction I'm, I'm thinking about going in, and then if I need to do some research on that, uh, I'll do it. But um, uh, you got to be a little careful because sometimes the research can kind of bog you down, you know, and you don't want to you don't want it to be all about research, you know, mm -hmm. as opposed sure. to like you know, what it is you're feeling and, and emotion and stuff like that. In the moment. So it's a kind of, it's a, uh, is it, it, it's kind of a, um, a balance between preparation or yeah. the, mm -hmm. the, the work and then the spontaneity and mm -hmm. the, uh, the emotional uh, yeah. performance in the moment. Uh, yeah. How many, uh, how many roles do you think you've played as, do you find it, uh, Mr. Eulen, do you find that it, that you're still, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't want to say excited to uh, discover a new character, but does it, I mean, after all these years, are you still managing to find new things to say in new characters? I hope so. Yeah. 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 Because this character for, I'd say, a supporting role has some very significant moments. You've seen it? Yeah. I know. Oh. Did it not sound like I did? For well, a I didn't know. Yeah, I no. haven't. <laughs> well, you were in it, though. You had that advantage. Although you weren't in the scenes you weren't in. so no, you don't. very true. You yeah. know. Did I you... was there for two days. Oh, okay. So they shot I think it. two days. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I guess um, but we, you haven't seen the entire film yet? Are you going to go to the premiere? Yeah. Is that? The, tonight. It's tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So uh, are you going to watch it for the first time with an audience? For the first time, with or without an audience. Yeah. <laughs> <We> can... <laughs> there were... 
<laughs> the audience I, isn't guaranteed. <laughs> I am so out of my league today. I'm just going to admit it. I'm, I'm wrong, clearly. And I just, it just coincidentally, I had watched Doc just uh, really? days ago. Oh, my God. For the first time ever. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're really amazing in that film. Really? You don't, feel, you don't like that one? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? Well, <laughs> I don't want to speak badly of people. Oh, it should. Nobody's but listening. As long as they're dead. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was a difficult one in that regard. Relationships on their set. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. There's no... Relationships were fine. I mean, Stacy and I were close friends before, and Faye, we got to know. No, there was no difficulty in that. It was just that the film went terribly askew, and it was probably as much my fault as anyone's in terms of uh, Pete Hamill's script. Right, Pete Hamill wrote that. Yeah. Yeah. The and, journalist. Mm-hmm. And we took some exceptions to some things Pete had done and decided to go kind of another way. You know, about the look of the film and uh, not so much what it was. But anyway, we ended up in, a, I remember, in a place where we didn't have anything to shoot. I see. And we came to the set, and it was Stacy and I and Frank Barry. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, he said, well, what are you going to do? And we'd stayed up till about 4 or 5 in the morning writing a scene. And we said, well, this is what we have. He said, I don't like it. <laughs> we said, well, that's all we got. You know? <laughs> he said, well, get something else. Yeah. I said, we said, okay. So I, we finally came up with something. I, <clears throat> I, s- I don't know. I haven't seen it since. Uh, actually, I was asked to leave the premiere <laughs> Stacy and I were both asked to leave. Really? Well, I, yeah, it was a screening in New York. I think it was a premiere. Uh-huh. Anyway, a lot of people there, and uh, we couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> so we were asked to leave. Was there any, uh, I don't know, stimulants that were <laughs> were part of that uh, experience that were may have well, been I a re- be surprise? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that might have explained was the laughter. That era? So uh, what, what, so when you get a role like you do here, which is actually, again, it's a supporting role. You're there only for a short time on the set, as you said already. Uh, mm-hmm. But there's ex- some really substantial moments between you and, and Kelly, uh, the characters, uh, mm-hmm. father and son, uh, which, and, and there's a big reveal, what you get to deliver. Right? Was that a big draw, a big re- draw to you for taking on this particular role? What uh, the just the, the again like Isaiah said he said he was impressed I guess he, you make your choices right Isaiah about the, when you read the the screenplay mm-hmm. or the script correct I mean m- most of the time yeah I mean I can read, or the cast can or... usually read a script and 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 just by reading it sometimes I can decide you know whether or not I want to do it and which direction I want to go in right yeah so I was just but I mean that's just me I mean I, I can only speak for myself you you can speak for Mr Eulen. <laughs> Sure. I, I, I would not ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> wise, wise. Uh, no, no, I just wonder what goes into the, I guess I could have a, simp- a simpler way would be just to ask you what goes into your choice of taking, a, let's say, a role like in uh, All Square. First, the material. Uh, second, the people that are doing it. Mm-hmm. And third, and most prominent in this case, the money. Right. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot, a lot here. It, but you won't be, and I doubt you're going to get thrown out of uh, tonight's premiere. I have a sense. John, can you uh, confirm that pretty much that you will not be throwing? Yeah, we would never throw Harris out. He can laugh all he wants. <laughs> and this it really has some comic moments too. There yeah. are some very, there's some very broad, broad. Although it's, I would consider this a drama. It's you know, but Pamela, Pamela, is it hard to kind of restrain somebody like that? Isn't it? Well, we didn't want to restrain her, quite frankly, and I think that that was what I loved about the script, and probably, <coughs> probably most people is that it it is. Uh, I mean, it is very funny. You know, there's a lot of comedy in this, but it's also um, <clears throat> it's not slapstick comedy, and it allow and it can get dramatic at times. And it's uh, you know, I think that some of my favorite films, and that that's what 
attracted me to making something like this is some of my favorite films are don't necessarily fit in one single genre. You know, when I read the script, I I thought a lot about the films of uh, Hal Ashby, and I thought about um, Michael Ritchie, and uh, you know, some so some of those movies that that I love that that uh, really could. Be, they were character driven and they could go from some incredibly funny things to some very moving things and some difficult things and 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 to kind of tell a story like that where because quite frankly if you ask me what i like in a movie is is to not know where it's going you know i'd like to be surprised whether it's a thriller or a mystery or a character piece i don't want to know exactly where it's going. I mean, that's part of the enjoyment of being told a story. Um, it should feel surprising yet inevitable by the end. And, and uh, I felt that this script did achieve that. And, you know, so we hope to honor that. And But speaking about someone like Pamela Adlon, she's, uh, we hired her, you know, or we wanted her very much for that reason because she is, she has an honesty and uh, and she feels real and she's very funny she's hysterical but it is comes from a comes from a very believable honest place and we wanted that character to have that kind of energy because in the wrong hands we could have cast another great actress who maybe played that character as someone you would feel sorry for and uh, I didn't. I knew that with Pam, you would never feel sorry for her. That she would always have the power in the scene, one way or the other. Especially the idea of coupling her with with Michael, because of the way that the way that he performs and the energy that that he has as a performer. I thought the two of them would would be a terrific, you know, scene partners, and and they didn't disappoint. Yeah, no, I think they were terrific together. Actually, it speaks to your. It's a testament to your uh, directing. I think it's really well directed. Did a great job with all your actors, and you really did have quite a few excellent. You have an excellent cast, as I said. Uh, Isaiah, are you doing theater at all uh, coming up? Or um, <clears throat> it's funny you asked that. I was talking to someone yesterday uh, uh -huh. that I I need to to do a play at some point. I haven't done one in about eight years. Oh, really? And there was a time when I did maybe about ten plays a year. Uh, when I would, you know, I would usually, I used to be with a company called the American Conservatory Theater in San Francisco, sure. and we would do plays all year, and then I would go and do summer stock, and then come back and do plays. 70s, 80s, and, or even yeah, later than that? until like late 80s, early part of, mm -hmm. or no, I'm sorry, uh, late 70s. Wow, really? Early 80s. Okay, uh, yeah. But, uh, but this is the longest time I've gone without We get so much being TV work, too. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, it's hard to schedule it. So uh, uh, You have to make but, a point of clearing your schedule, I assume, uh, to make that work. With, if sort you, of. But yeah. you have uh, people relying on you. Yeah, you're talking about a good 10 weeks, you know, yeah. and, and that's kind of tough, you know, especially at certain times of the year. Yeah. Are you st still doing theater, Harris? I'm like, going to do uh, Frost Nixon in a... Couple of months. Do you know the play? I well, yeah, sure, of course. And um, I think I, I know I saw, of course, the Ron Howard uh, adaptation, the film. Uh -huh. But I, I, I'm wondering because I have a very, very long history, fascination with uh, that president. Oh yes, really? <laughs> not not a positive one necessarily. Oh, very but flattered. Are you playing Nixon in that? <laughs> yes. Well, are you? Yeah. Wow, that's terrific. And that, is that going to be uh, where is that? It's going to be at uh, the Bay Street Theater in Sag Harbor, Long Island. Oh, very good. Very good. And that, when is that? You, you may have mentioned it. It's playing the month of July. Okay. This summer. Terrific. Yeah. It's a good reason to go out. If, 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 yeah, come, yeah. by all means. Thank you. Yeah. Just to remind people, All Square, which we're sitting here at South By, by the time this goes up, so do, I, sh I just should ask you, as of yet, I know there's this is a process, but is there a, or are you still in the festival circuit, I guess is the question, or are you, do you have a plan coming up for? Um, the, the plan right now, I mean, we are, right now we're showing at South By and we are showing, um, <clears throat> we're showing at the uh, one out in California, the Newport Beach, which is coming right after this. So we, so we are doing those. After that, it remains to be seen, you know, like I say, we'll, we'll see just kind of what happens sure. from that point on. I'd love to though. I'd hope we get to show at more festivals. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great, I mean, for festivals. I was just also wondering then, uh, of course, then you're still figure, figuring out the distribution issue. Or, uh, right, that makes sense. Uh, well, I wish you all the luck in the world with the film. It's a really spectacular film. And it's a lot of fun to watch because of all the great actors in the film. Like, but not as much fun as I've had meeting you guys and bringing you on here. Um, it's a personal, just, uh, and, and yourself too, so oh, Mr. Hyams. Uh, thank you very much, guys, and uh, have a great premiere tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Sure. Yes. Nice meeting you. Take it easy. Nice meeting you. Right, man. You bet.